Hi, I'm Elias Stahl, the co-founder and CEO of Hilos, and we are changing how the world makes. We're building an on-demand, zero-waste future for your favorite brands. I know when to go. What makes us human? Language, intelligence, faith, art. Art is not only intrinsically human, it is something we physically need and cannot do without. Right now, design happens in two very separate worlds, the digital and the physical. In the digital world, a revolution is underway. Generative AI allows for sketches, words, even gestures to become beautiful, unreal images almost instantly. While in the physical world, it still takes months and years for a design to become a product on the shelf. Nowhere is this felt more than in footwear a $400 billion creative industry where it still takes 18 months to go from a design to a product. Right now, designers are designing for spring 2026. This is in a world where we don't even know what next week is going to look like, let alone next month or next year. And because of that delay, brands are spending $20 billion every year making product that they're sending directly to landfill. I'm Elias Stahl, the founder and CEO of Hylos, and we're on a mission to dissolve the barrier between the digital and the physical world so that the speed, the creativity, the efficiency of the digital world becomes tangible in this one. I served in the Israeli Special Forces and went on to build software for Fortune 50 brands like BMW and Caterpillar, where I saw firsthand the pain and tension between selling in the digital while making in the physical. Hilo's Interplay is the first no-CAD platform for brands to take their designs and generate 3D files ready to be printed and manufactured at scale. Designers can design however they prefer, be it hand sketching to VR all the way to mid-journey, and Interplay will generate 3D print files for <coughs> production. The key is to focus on highly systematized product, like footwear, where we can deploy tool chains that use machine vision to identify and segment the product type and its components, and then generate 3D print files based on our interlocking patented assemblies. This form of on-demand product creation is such high fidelity, like the shoes I'm wearing here on stage, that brands aren't only using it to accelerate product development and sampling, but to move product all the way through to production, making on-demand only after a customer orders, avoiding inventory, overproduction, and waste. With us today, we have Ty Haven one of the most innovative footwear designers in the industry with years across both Converse and Nike. We're going to invite Ty on stage to design a shoe live using Interplay. Let's go to Ty. Let's welcome Ty and go to the demo. Thank you all for having me today. I usually like to start with what I call a ground plane. And what that means is I like to set gravity to the sketch. And on the way down here, it was getting kind of chilly, so I figured I would want to draw maybe a little bit of a house sneaker, a little bit of a mule. And so that is what I am going to do. I'm going to add a little bit of an upper to that midsole. Yeah, let's grab, let's grab that line. Let's generate what that looks like. Sweet. Um, let's go with option D. I like that kind of linear language on the midsole. Let's do a little bit of detailing here. Let's add some lines, just accentuate those ribbing. And let's also, let's add a window for a little bit of ventilation here. Yeah, let's generate that. 
Okay. Uh, let's go with A. I like A. Okay, let's do a little bit of, let's do a top-down view. Let's draw a heel. Yeah, I like that. This is kind of where the upper will meet that. There's kind of the toe. Bring in a little bit of the vamp. All right, that's kind of showing it. And let's put some asymmetry in here. A little bit of a window vamp there. That's great. All right, let's generate what that might look like. Okay, fantastic. Um, yeah, let's go with A. I like the two windows. Super, let's see that in 3D. Love it. Let's send that to print. And let's go live to Zoom at Hylos headquarters where we can see that shoe actually being unpacked from a 3D printer. And if we're selected as a finalist, Tomorrow, you will see these shoes on stage, on my feet. <laughs> that is the future we are building, one where designs can become real in your hand the next day. Hylos is an API for the physical world, one that brands need now more than ever. And today, I'm excited to announce a new partnership. Let's go to slides. Wrap it up. With one of the largest brands, Steve Madden. Steve Madden is working with Hylos across their portfolio of brands to be able to take their ideas and move them into market faster than ever. And this news breaks now, live, on stage. And it's just the beginning of an on-demand future for footwear. The digital world is going through a revolution. Hylos takes that revolution from the screen to your shelf. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Hylos. Judges, who has a question? Yeah, I have a question. Great job, Elias. Exciting to see that. Um, I have a two-part question. First is on cost. Can you speak to the affordability of the end product for the consumer? And I'm curious, you're, it looks like you're going through a, a B2B dis, a partnership strategy. Why not go direct to consumer where consumers could design their own footwear and print on demand? We'll start with costing, because this is a big challenge for on-demand. People are used to on-demand being more expensive. Our greatest focus has been on meeting cost parity, not with European production, with East Asian production. And this year, Steve Madden isn't known for high fashion, you know, $300 shoes. They're known for commercial volumes. The partnership with Steve Madden speaks to our ability to now, for this year, compete and be cost competitive with East Asian production at scale, but to do that locally and on-demand. When it comes to your second question about how we think about B2B, there was a startup called Shoes to Prey. I don't know if anyone here knows of it, uh, 10 years in Australia, and it was based on consumers designing their own shoes. The problem is that not everyone wants to design their own shoes, and so there was a limited market for that at scale. People want brands and designers uh, as curators, uh, and it's very important that we really allow those brands to launch product at scale faster into market. That, for us, is a much wider change than letting the individual. I had a question. First off, thank you so much. I was curious about the supply chain and how you think about the scalability of the production as you onboard more and more brands. Hylos has three interlocking pieces of moat. One of them, of course, is we have patented new forms of assembly that allow for digital manufacturing at scale. Lower component parts, less labor, the ability to scale that across multiple brands and multiple product lines. The second is our digital tool chain, where we combine the ability to segment and read these designs and generate actual printable files that are manufacturable for footwear. The third is a supply chain, where we have a partner network that can scale from hundreds to thousands to tens of thousands. And the partnerships that we're announcing with Steve Madden's and some of the others at the end of this year speak to scale because brands aren't doing this for one or 2% of their product lines. They're doing it to get to 100% on demand and the ability to scale locally is key to that. But we don't own our own printers. We all have an incredible partner network that scales with us, and brands book out volume on an annual basis to make sure that they have that capacity as needed. So you, you don't own the, the manufacturing, right? And like the suppliers, are they working for other uh, shoe companies? Can you talk a little bit about like these printers like right now what are they being used for? 
automotive, aerospace, dental is generally where 3D printing has been successful at scaling. What really was needed to unlock printers for footwear is one, redeveloping and inventing applications that allow footwear to scale in digital, and the second, jailbreaking the printers. Very close partnerships with HP, BSF, and other technologies have allowed Hylos to achieve costing and scale that no one else rivals in the industry, making this a true on-demand platform for product creation from design to print. Can you talk a little bit about the design tools you have in the tool chain to make it as seamless as possible? Because I imagine footwear designers are used to a certain set of products and a certain way of working, and this is a pretty fundamentally new way of working. I would love to hear a little bit more about that. Oh, I mean, there's nothing that could be more true. You can tell a designer based on the, the tools they use based on their age. So we have James Carnes on our team. He led sustainability, innovation, and design at Adidas for 26 years. He did the Future Craft lines, the Speed Factory. He walks around with a light table. He does everything by hand. Then you've got someone fresh out of SCAD who did the unpack there at Hilo's. He does everything in Gravity Sketch. Ultimately, Hilo's needs to be interoperable with every design platform. You as a designer already use multiple tools depending on what you want to do. All of those tools can be brought into Hilo's. We began with our own development platform, but we also see a huge future in API plugins directly into these other designs. So I think Index is on this stage, right? You've got Vizcom as one of your portfolio companies. That's a great plugin opportunity. Gravity Sketch, Figma. We're going to go where the design community already lives and allow them to make that real. Final quick question. Why do this? Why are you passionate about shoe design? A long time ago, a new technology allowed wool mills in England to make apparel a little bit more efficiently, and it kicked off an industrial revolution. Something as benign as wool, something as benign as apparel, was what created industrialization. Footwear is incredibly complex, but highly driven by labor, highly cost sensitive, and because of the molding and tooling required, driven far from our shores and very inefficiently produced. But reinventing footwear for digital manufacturing at scale will be the thing that spurs that next post-industrial revolution. Footwear is just the toehold in the future of on-demand. And there's a lot of footwear puns, so you gotta forgive me. It very <laughs> naturally lends itself to that. I think that's a great note to end on. Give it up for Hylos!